In this video, I'll show you how to set up your calendar for automatic appointment booking by setting our calendar type, creating a meeting link, and creating an appointment confirmation and reminder workflow. Let's get started. To set up our calendar, go to calendars, and then go to calendar settings. From here, we can create a new calendar by clicking new calendar. We can then select the calendar type, either being personal booking, round robin, collective booking, class booking, event calendar, or service booking. For one-on-one -on -one meetings, we'll use personal booking. Once we click this, we can give our calendar a name, such as discovery call, then select a team member. This team member should be yourself. If you don't see a team member in this list, go to my staff and add yourself as a team member. Next, give your calendar a custom URL. Then set your meeting duration. After this, you can confirm your booking availability. And don't worry, if you have an external calendar that includes events and business hours, I'll show you how to connect that soon. Once you're done, click confirm. Just like that, we have our calendar and we have our calendar link. We can access this by clicking copy. And if we want to put this on our website, we can copy the embed code and use it accordingly. Checking out our calendar, you can see the basic functionality of being able to select a time, move forward, input details, and click schedule meeting. With this functionality, you can share this calendar link with your leads and allow them to book appointments with you. Next, let's set up an automated confirmation and reminder workflow. Navigate to workflows by clicking close and go back, then go to automation. Here, we'll create a new workflow by clicking create workflow and we'll use a recipe. If we scroll down, we can see our appointment confirmation and reminder workflow right at the bottom. We'll select this and then modify our workflow to fit our needs here. We'll go ahead and look at the confirmation email and include any additional information in our subject line or within the email itself, such as the meeting ID. Be sure to change this to the custom appointment link, which you can get by clicking custom values, appointment, and then if you scroll down, you'll see meeting location. Using this custom value will allow you to share the unique meeting ID with your customers. When you're satisfied with the emails, click save action, and be sure to go through every single one of the emails within this workflow, as well as any reminder SMS actions. When you're finished, click publish and save. For extra credit back in calendar settings, we can connect our own personal calendar, such as Google, iCloud, or Outlook under the connections section in order to sync bookings and check for availability. We can also connect our video conferencing tool, whether that be Zoom, Google Meet, or any of the other platforms that we allow, which will allow that custom value of meeting location to function properly. And just like that, you'll be able to use your custom meeting link in order to book appointments, check for availability on your own calendars, and send out appointment confirmations and reminders that include your custom meeting links. This is an exciting step that's gonna help you get set up with the platform. So I hope you found this helpful. And as always, thank you for watching.